Hi everyone, I'm Nana. In today's video, we'll understand how do we troubleshoot issues pertaining to email to keys. So before getting to troubleshooting part, let us understand what is the term called as inbound email. So as the name indicates, any email that comes from an external email address to Salesforce email address is categorized as inbound email. Now talking about email to keys, any user sending an email to Salesforce email address is automatically converted as case. So that is all about email to case. One of the common problem statement that we have seen pertaining to email to case is cases are not created or even if created, there is a huge delay in case creation process when email is sent to email to case address. So that is one of the common problem statement. So how do you troubleshoot any issues pertaining to email to case? We can make use of automated case user feature or we can make use of email snapshot. So this is what we'll be covering in today's video. And uh, apart from email to case, you can also see that email to Apex and email to Salesforce is also categorized as inbound email. So talking about email to case, we can set up this by by two ways. One is by downloading and installing the email to case agent on the local machine, which is behind your network firewall in order to turn email into cases. So this first option, you have to download and this accepts email larger than 25 MB. So for today's video, we'll focus on the second way to uh, configure email to case, which is on demand email to case. Again, we'll be focusing on the troubleshooting part as a setup part was already done in the previous uh, video of SFTC One Stop by Namrata. Now coming to on-demand email to case, unlike the first feature email to case, you don't need to download any software. It solely uses Salesforce to convert email to cases and it refuses emails larger than 25 MB. So the good part is there is no need to download any software. So this is what we'll understand in today's video. So as I said, the setup part, you can go through the setup part in this particular uh, SFDC One Stop YouTube channel. If you are interested to understand how do I set up on demand email to case. Now, let me log into my dev org again from setup. On the left side, quick find, I can email to case, which is under feature settings under service. I can this and when you click on this, email to case, this is how the page looks like. Now coming to troubleshooting, let us take a scenario where a company called as SFDC One Stop Water Purifier has a support email address embedded in their website and the email address is emaildemo789 at gmail.com. So this is the routing email address which has been con configured by the SFTC One Stop Water Purifier company. Now there is a customer who has purchased a product called as water purifier where the product where the, there is a leakage uh, there is a leakage issue with the water purifier product. Now the customer logs into the website and notices that this is the support email address. Now the customer what they do is they will just drop in email. They have already drafted the email saying that there is a uh, I just copy down this email address which you have seen here. The third email address this is the routing email address i copy that and i just uh, say that this is what the water purifier leakage issue and i just uh, again it's a just uh, for testing purpose i'll just uh, key in this is there is a leakage issue and i hit on send so basically i'm sending an email to email to case routing email address so this is the one so let me open this as well so this is how the detail page of the email to case uh, email to case uh, feature is. So this is how the uh, page looks like. So this is the routing name and this is the routing email address for which I have already sent an email. Now let me open my cases and see if there is any case which has been logged with subject called as SFTC one stop water purifier issue. You could see that a case was created on 27 December at this particular time and the priority is medium. So this all is already pre-configured in the detail page here. As you see, the case uh, owner would be Namrata, case priority would be medium, case origin is email, and this is what the report uh, type would be. So then the same thing you would see here. 
priority and uh, all of priority is something is configured forget about the other uh, checks as that that as i am not focusing on uh, this particular case settings this is not very important we will focus on the troubleshooting uh, aspect now in this case you would see that uh, when if when a customer sends an email to this routing email address the case is auto created now there could be a scenario where at times there would be issue with the routing email address at that time it makes more sense to test as a system admin it makes it makes more sense to test with the long salesforce email address if there is an issue with the routing email address because that is something done by my company called as sfdc one stop water purifier now to uh, narrow down if the issue is with the company email or if the issue is with salesforce email address the first thing as part of troubleshooting would be sending an email to the long email address so this is very important uh, aspect when it comes to email to case troubleshooting so let us try for uh, many times it happens that there is an issue with the uh, routing configuration that is done by the email team of your company in that case to conclude whether the issue is with salesforce email address or whether the issue is with your company email address it makes more sense to give it one more test with the salesforce long address as well So this is one way to uh, one way of troubleshooting. It takes some time. So you see, after a few minutes, you could also see that the email gets through from the Salesforce long email address as well. So this confirms there is no issue with the Salesforce. Uh, there is no issue with the Salesforce uh, site. And if you notice any issue only with this email address, then you have to work with your uh, email team. So this is one easy way to test and confirm whether the issue is with the Salesforce email address or the, whether the issue is with your company email address, which you are configuring in the email address section. So the email service address, this is called as long email address, which is auto populated by Salesforce. So this is one important check that you can do. The other important uh, thing that we can do is the support settings. In order to tap, navigate to support settings, again from quick find, from setup quick find, and just key in support settings under service, similar to email to case, you would see support settings here. Now what is very important for you to understand is the automated case user. If you see here, the automated case user is populated as myself and the email is naina.kariala. This is my personal email address, which you see. So you can populate any system admin as automated case user. Basically, the intent of populating this is any issues with the case creation. When uh, case creation through email, any errors will be sent to this email address. So now let's take a scenario. I create a validation rule which blocks case creation. I just click on active. So that way I'm, I'm activating my validation rule. Now what I will do is I will use some other uh, email to case, maybe in this case, SFDC one stop at one stop support, the fourth uh, routing name. And I'll click on this, nana SFDC one stop at gmail.com. So I'll key in and I will just click on compose. Again, I'll say that SFDC one stop purifier issue. And I hit on say, send. So I'm sending an email to this routing email address. Now let me check my email if I see any error notification. So if you see here, case did not get created. I'll just click on refresh here. You would see the case did not get created because there is an error. And that error is seen uh, is seen on this particular email as well. There is an issue with case violation. So that email is sent to this email address because I have configured automated case user under support settings. So this is second way to troubleshoot your email to case issues. As you could see the advantages, you will not be able to figure out that easily the issues with the 
validation tool. In a similar way, the issue could be with process builder or the issue could be with some access related issues pertaining to record type or the issue could be with uh, the FX trigger, whatever it could be, any customization, if the issue is coming from customization, all those errors will be sent to the automated case user email address. So this is very important part when troubleshooting email to case issues to check who the automated case user is, check the email address of this automated case user, right? This is the email address. And now check if you have seen any uh, errors to that automated case user email. So as you see, I have seen the error and I can clearly see that there is a case validation tool and that is what is causing the issue. Basically, email to case feature is not working. I'm sending an email, but case is not, not getting created because of this particular validation tool that is created on case. So this is second way to troubleshoot your email to case issues. Now there could be a scenario that case is created, but there is a delay and that delay is something you can uh, troubleshoot using your email snapshot. Again, as usual from setup quick find, I can email snapshot, which is under monitoring. And over here, uh, let's say, again, I'll see the two address. Two address in this case is nana.sfdc1stop at gmail.com. I'll just populate this as two address and I'm sending email from sfdc1stop at gmail.com. Let's say, suppose. So this is where the issue is. Basically, one of the user reached out to you saying that email to case is not working and that user email address you can populate under from address and where the user is sending which email to case address and that is something you can check by navigating to your email to case page identify which email to case feature is impacted click on a detail page for example like this click on it and identify what is it to add to address and those details will populate in the to address section of email snapshot and just i'll click on request snapshot so two addresses mandatory uh, from addresses not man mandatory. Only two addresses mandatory. I click on request snapshot and you could see it is the status is pending. I have requested on 27 December. Now for testing purpose, I'll take already the older one which I have downloaded and this is how the older one looks like. So when I download the, uh, so this is how it looks like. And since it is not a readable format, I'll just click on this link, mxtoolbox.com. That link is embedded in my blog as well. Just click on this. When you click on this, there is a tab called as Analyze Headers. And when, I, when you click on Analyze Headers, you can copy the content of this downloaded email snapshot and you can click on Analyze Header. So this is another way to troubleshoot any issues pertaining to delay in case creation using uh, the email to case feature. You see there is a delay of one second. So if you see the case is getting created but there is a delay, then make use of email snapshot feature where it tells you for how many seconds the delay is and it also tells you who the from addresses, to addresses, the entire details as well. Basically, you are analyzing all the headers using this MX toolbox. What is the Salesforce long email address? You will get the message ID, you will get the from address. All those things are something you can uh, review using your uh, snapshot by putting in the downloaded snapshot in the MX toolbox analyze header section. So this is other way to troubleshoot any delay or slowness related issues pertaining to email to case future. So this is what we, we have covered. How do you make use of email snapshot? How do you make use of automated case user feature in order to troubleshoot if there is any issue with uh, the configuration or the customization that you have done at the org level. The other way is obviously you can make use of deeper blocks, but these are the two easy ways that you can start with. And the first uh, option that I have shared with you is to see or narrow down if the issue is with your routing email address or the issue is with uh, Salesforce email address. Even if case doesn't get created when you send an email to the long email address, then go with the second option, which is automated case user. 
and debug logs. And if you see there is a delay, email snapshot would be the, uh, would be also the one option where you can also, so email snapshot, not only for delay, for even any issues pertaining to case creation, not, I mean, cases are not getting created even in that case, you can make use of inbound email snapshot as well, where you can see who the from address and to address and the uh, email header as well, header ID as well. I think that is all I have for today's demo. Thank you so much for taking all your time. And if you find this video to be informative, please do like, share and subscribe our SLTC One Stop YouTube channel. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.